Good morning, Fakeaholic friends. Here's a tree I have of Greek origin, and it's a Checo Movia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not Greek. I can't even pronounce Portuguese correctly. So, um, but um, we've not got ripe fruit from this before. It's grown well for us. It's. I remember um, I grafted it. Um, I wanted to make sure it grew well. Um, and I do that usually for a new variety to get it in production faster and it grew well but um, I did not get fruit from it yet and it's a large black fig fairly small eye um, this is very soft I have some ants here I see um, have pretty they're not coming from the eye I have a lot of ants out in my orchard I need to get some treatment out here I guess put some ant bait I wasn't sure it might be spoiled because it was so soft, but um, it's not spoiled at all. Very sweet, um, mild berry flavor, very syrupy. Very nice. Um, let me check. Here's another very large one. This is hard though. That's not ripe yet. This one's cracking, but it's pretty hard. This one's too soft, I think. I don't want that. Well, we got that one. Actually, I have a second tree of it here, but let me check this. Yeah, oh, this is maybe too soft. Got syrup coming out of it. This one did spoil, though. So I got one good fruit off of it, um, and there's more that have dropped to the ground. I just haven't been out here every day picking fruit. I grow other crops, too, so it's growing well. So I don't know whether this is common or not. Um, some people have said that all the Greek figs, all the Turkish figs are Smyrna type, and I don't believe that to be the case. Um, that would be very unusual. In fact, that's like um, someone having 20 children and saying they're, they only produce boys. Um, so um, genetically, that's just not likely. So, um, and also, just um, from a practical standpoint, why would they be selecting only figs that are Smyrna type that require caprification? But um, in my practice here, in my experience, um, I found that many of them do seem to require long seasons or take um, three, four, or five years before I get ripe fruit from them. And I don't know why that is, but they're in you know warm very warm climates with long growing seasons so you know those um or maybe just what they've selected over the generations um, again thanks for watching